If you're feeling stuck and unseen at work and probably you do your best but you are unacknowledged for all the achievements that you're making, then it's time to increase your visibility at work. So what is workplace visibility? It is being recognized for your contribution to your company's growth and it also means being included in your organization's decision-making processes. So here are 10 ways to increase your visibility at work. And before we dig in, if you are new here, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here watching me today and I am committed to helping you advance in your career, increase your earning potential whilst maintaining that tricky integration between your personal life and your work life. And if you're a returning viewer, then I am so happy that you're here. Don't forget to hit the like button so that YouTube can help other amazing people just like you to find this video. So let's dig straight in. What can you do in order to increase your visibility at work? Many people um, assume that work visibility is not important and they bury their head in the sand. But of course, you you're not one of those people because you're here today you're being proactive about your own career growth and advancement because as I always say as CEO of your life your main objective is to maximize opportunities and profit so being visible at work will not only help you get promoted advance in your career but it will also bring more fulfillment because you're being recognized for the impact that you're making at work The first way for you to build visibility is acknowledging and recognizing other people and your team's achievements in public. You can do this in a meeting setting where you actually acknowledge and congratulate people on the work that they're doing or on LinkedIn, you can make a post and say, I'd like to congratulate my team at so-and-so for doing a, B, C, and you know, state whatever you're acknowledging them for. And people notice that it makes you look like a default leader because typically we expect managers or leaders to acknowledge us. If you are the one acknowledging other people, it sort of makes you look like a default leader in a sense without annoying people because people love being congratulated and acknowledged in public. This will also put you in a positive light, not only with your coworkers, your team, your management, but it really helps build that positive rapport in the team because you might be working in a team where people don't get acknowledged every day and you just bringing this acknowledgement just helps make their day better and it just puts you in a positive light as far as they are concerned. Number two, use setbacks as your opportunity to shine. I kid you not. Challenges are your friend. Whenever you smell a fire at work or something is going wrong, instead of you bolting like what everyone else is doing and going in the opposite direction or ignoring it or hoping someone else is going to solve that problem, step up and save the day. It is such an uncontested way of becoming visible because people don't like getting out of their way and solving problems. But when you place yourself as a problem solver, by default, you become more visible. The third way to increase your workplace visibility is to take initiative. Look around you. How can you cut costs? How can you increase profits? How can you maximize uh, employee retention in your organization? Take that initiative. It might mean doing some extra homework to find out more about the problem and the solution and doing some research whether you're reading current articles about your specific industry so that you can come up with the solution but what competitive edge do you bring to the team apart from what all your co-workers are doing because remember you're aiming for visibility here and taking initiative is a powerful way of gaining that visibility at work Strategy number four on increasing your visibility at work is go the extra mile. What do I mean by this? If everyone is just doing their job and just getting by, 
be that person whose work really shines out and I don't mean work harder you can actually shine out by just being more strategic about how you're working and finding out shortcuts becoming more productive around the task that you're doing what makes you what differentiates you from your team that is what you're aiming for and make this a uh, make this a continuous standard by which you're measured up against. Be intentional about the results you're producing and about being that person whose work is always exceptional. Do this without bending yourself into the ground because you're working harder, longer, faster. You know, do this in a way that is smart. Just take a step back, evaluate and take a hard look at your work and be like, hmm, how can I do this smarter and better? How can I bring in uh, results that are more competitive? Uh, competitive? How can I, um, what edge can I bring above the rest? Because at the end of the day, your coworkers are sometimes your competition and it's very healthy to view it in that way. Because remember, you're aiming for visibility here. Number five uh, will get you out of your comfort zone, but it is such an easy way to gain visibility and that is to stand out at company events, whether they're online or in-person events, make sure you stand out for them. So you can approach your team, you can approach you know, your coworkers, ask them, is there an MC for today's event? Would you like me to be an MC or host? And then if you do get that important role of being an MC or host, make sure you are pre well prepared, make it fun, make it engaging, make everyone who is there feel included. So whatever it is, don't be that person who hangs back in the shadows. Even if it's a meeting, you can ask your manager in advance before the meeting, how can I help out in this meeting? Again, avoid taking the minutes, make sure it's something <laughs> that is hopefully more important, but just something that makes you uh, look, that makes you visible within that uh, gathering or work setting. Don't undermine small gatherings or small events. Make sure that you're just being um, intentional about making sure you have a role to play and making sure sure that you are being seen and you are being heard in those settings. Number six is for those who primarily work online. So sometimes uh, you might be thinking, okay, I'm not very visible because I'm not physically in the work environment. And studies have shown that someone who is physically present in a company has a competitive advantage than someone who is online. Because if you're online, sometimes people forget that you're even there, right? But when you are uh, working from home, be intentional about your online presence. What do I mean? When you have Zoom meetings, I know that people have Zoom fatigue, you're tired, you just wanna be home in your pajamas. But what you can do is, on those days when you have a team meeting, make an effort to actually just get dressed, even if it's just a top, and then you've got pyjama pants at the bottom, that's still fine, get dressed, put some makeup on, look presentable, comb your hair and put your camera on because in most meetings, people do not put their camera on and some supervisors, they let it slide, they're not fussy about people not having a camera on, but it's really important for you to have your camera on because then people can feel your presence other than if you're off camera. And even if uh, you mainly work through Zoom, participate in online forums, and as you do this, you become more visible. Strategy number seven in increasing your visibility at work is keep track of your achievements. You can keep this in an online channel or you can keep this in a physical notebook. Write down your achievements as you go and as you grow and make sure you have a career growth strategy in place so that when you have your performance review, they really work out to your advantage. You really uh, position yourself as someone who's organized and intentional about their career growth and if you have a strategy uh, and goals that you're working towards then when you sit down for those performance reviews you can ask for what you want you can let your team your management know what it is you're working towards and ask them how they can support that and you know what management just loves it when a person takes initiative in that way it positions you as an asset to the team and as a result it makes you more visible. Number eight, 
Always be growing and improving your skills. Don't grow tired of sharpening the saw. Don't grow tired researching industry trends and events, reading those journals, making yourself more competitive for your role. Because remember, you are after visibility and long-term growth. And part of that is being proactive about your own learning. Most organizations do offer a learning strategy um, for workers. So you have access to a learning portal but even if you belong to an organization that doesn't do that then you can take ownership of your own learning and career progression you can use free platforms such as linkedin for linkedin learning or you can go online and register for a particular network you can um, attend regular networking events some companies offer networking events on fridays such an important place for you to be because then you partake in important conversations and you get new information that is relevant to you and your role. Before I tell you strategy number 10, have you subscribed yet? If you haven't done so already, take this time to hit the subscribe button. And if you're enjoying this video, then please give it a like so that more amazing people just like you can find it. And you know what? Just as an extra favor because I like to make people work, pause this video for a minute and share it with somebody who needs to hear this. Number 10, master the art of intelligent and confident communication. You know what? You're probably wondering why I hadn't mentioned communication up until this very end because I know I speak a lot about communication because of the importance of communication to your career advancement and growth. I'm going to link to a video uh, in the description below that you can watch on improving your communication skills and becoming more articulate. But if you want to become visible, then your voice is a powerful tool for you to learn and to use you know master the art of speaking clearly master the art of making eye contact master the art of using positive and open body language what does your tone convey when you're speaking because again remember visibility has to do with how people perceive you and see you and communication plays a big role in that those are the 10 ways to increase your visibility at work. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Lorraine Zecker and I'll see you in the next episode.